वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू कास्केडेड कनेक्शन ऑफ टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क इन दिस वीडियो सो वॉट वी विल डू इज फर्स्ट आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन हैव कनेक्शन ऑफ टू टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क इन कास्केड कनेक्शन आफ्टर दैट वी विल डी राव इक्वेलेंट टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क पैरामीटर्स फॉर कास्केडेड कनेक्शन सो लेट मी draw one two port network first over here so let us consider this is two port network a and at port 1 of two port network a we are having voltage v1 a and current going inside is i1 a and current coming out that is i1 a and at port 2 we are having voltage v2 a and current going inside that is i2a and current coming out that is i2a at port 2 of two port network now what i'll do is i'll be considering second two port network let us say this is two port network b so with two port network b at port 1 let us say we are having voltage v1b and current going inside that is i1b and current coming out that is i1b at port 2 of two port network b we are having voltage v2b current going inside that is i2b and current coming out that is i2b right so that is how we have two different two port networks now my dear students what we will do is we will provide cascaded connection so for cascade connection you see simply we just need to connect this two terminal like this you see here i am connecting it right so this is cascade connection of two two port network right now what i'll do is i'll explain you equivalent two port network of this cascaded connection of two two port network so for that i just need to extend this line a little bit so my dear students now you see this is cascaded connection and in that what i'll do is i'll be considering equivalent two port network of this cascaded connection as you can see it over here so for this let us say this is my port 1 so for that here voltage is v1 current going inside is i1 and current coming out is i1 at port 1 and at port 2 here voltage is v2 current going inside is i2 and current coming out is i2 at port 2 over here right now to derive equivalent two port network parameters first of all we need to see the relation of voltage and current which is provided with this connections right so if you observe here we are having v1 is equals to v1a over here so i can say v1 that is equals to v1a and if you see i1 that is equals to i1a over here so i can say i1 that is equals to i1a right and if you see over here we are having connections so in that v2a that is equals to v1b over here so i need to say v2a that is equals to v1b over here and you see i2a and i1b that is equal and opposite direction right so i can say i2a that is equals to minus i1b that is available over here right and see here with connections you see this v2 that is equals to v2b so i can say this v2 that is equals to v2b and this i2 that is equals to i2b so i can say i2 that is equals to i2b so this is how relations are there with voltage and current now my dear students if you see here we are having relation in form of voltage and current and if you see v1 i1 that is our relation is there so what i can do is i can form a matrix in terms of abcd parameter as it is there as per v1 i1 so in abcd parameter i can say v1 i1 that is there in form of v2 i2 right so 
what I'll do is in form of matrix I'll write this relation so see this is v1 i1 relation which we have and that is v1 a i1 a right so now you see this v1 i1 in abcd parameter I can say that matrix T see abcd matrix is transmission matrix right so I can write matrix T into v2 minus i2 right that is how relation is there with abcd parameters right and this is equals to v1 a i1 a so for two port network a if you write abcd matrix then let us say that is ta for network a right into v2 a i2 a matrix will be there so v2 a minus i2 a that is how this matrix will be there right now my dear students if you see v2 a i2 a that relation is there with v1 b and i1 b right so now what i'll do is i'll be placing that relation over here so this t that is v2 minus i2 that is equals to matrix a into now you see v2 a i2 a so v2 a that is v1 b so i'm placing that v1 b over here and i2 a so you see i2 a is minus i1 b so i can say this is i1 b over here right now again you see v1 b i1 b that is having relation of two port network b in terms of abcd matrix so now what i can do is i can place v1 b i1 b in form of abcd matrix so you see i'm writing this first matrix of overall connection into v2 minus i2 that is equals to abcd parameter of matrix a into now you see v1 b i1 b is there so this equals to abcd matrix b into v2 b minus i2 b so now if you observe my dear students see v2 is v2 b and i2 is i2 b right so i can place v2 b is equals to v2 and i2 b is equals to i2 over here so you see i have placed v2 b is equals to v2 and i2 b is equals to i2 so now you can observe this matrix will get cancelled from both of the side and we can have resultant abcd parameter of cascaded connection that is abcd parameter of matrix a into abcd parameter of matrix b right now let me write that in form of parameters so for this it is a b c d like this but when we have t a so that is therefore matrix a so i'm writing a a b a c a d a like this and for this matrix b we have a b b b c b d d like this and see here when you want to calculate these values at that time you'll have to do matrix multiplication so my dear students you should know how to do matrix multiplication after having matrix multiplication you can be able to calculate this and if you want to get generalized form so for generalized form if multiple two port networks are connected in cascade connection so in that case for generalized form we'll be having abcd of equivalent matrix that is for matrix a we have abcd parameter into matrix b of abcd parameter into matrix c of abcd parameter and so on so that is how we can have generalized calculation right i hope now it is clear to you like how we can identify equivalent networks parameter when connections are there in cascade in my previous videos i have explained 
these things for series and parallel connection and in series connection I have explained that we need to have equivalent Z parameter that is algebraic sum of series connected parameters and when we have parallel connection in that case we need to have admittance parameters means Y parameter and that will be algebraic sum of Y parameter for parallel connection. I hope it is clear to you now in next videos I will explain series input parallel output connection and parallel input series output connection so that will be quite tricky and that will be even very interesting so you just see that thank you so much for watching this video